Hi kids, it's Mrs. Roberts. I wrote a part two to one of my stories called Mrs. Eggleston and Her Eggs. And today's story is part two. It's called Mrs. Eggleston and the Mystery of the Missing Eggs. And as I read through this story, I want you kids to look for people you might know. See if you recognize anybody and see if you can figure out the mystery before the ending. Mm -hmm. I want to see if you can guess what happened to the eggs. I know you can do it. All right. See if your guess is how the story ends. All right. Here we go. Mrs. Eggleston and the Mystery of the Missing Eggs. And it's written by Mrs. Roberts. Oh, welcome to my kitchen. All right, let's get started. Mrs. Eggleston, oh my. Mrs. Eggleston loved eggs. She loved eggs so much that she bought 12 hens and each hen produced an egg each day. At 12 eggs a day, seven days a week, Mrs. Eggleston had 84 eggs a week. And here is Mrs. Eggleston's dog. Just can't believe the number of eggs coming out of the coop. And here are all of Mrs. Eggleston's eggs and the hens that she bought. Mrs. Eggleston had a problem. She had so many eggs, she didn't know what to do with them all. She thought and she thought what should I do with all these eggs? I can't eat them all by myself. Finally, she had a brilliant idea. An idea popped into her head. She could share them with her friends. Yes, that's what I'll do. And here's Mrs. Eggleston. She's thinking, she thought and thought, what should she do? She's gonna share them with her friends. The next day, Mrs. Eggleston brought 12 fresh eggs to school to share with her friend, Mrs. Alvarico. These eggs are fresh from my girls. I collected them from the chicken condo this morning. I hope you enjoy them. They are excellent. Mrs. Eggleston exclaimed. Oh, wow, thank you so much, Mrs. Alberico said. My family will truly enjoy these. So I want you first to look. She had so many eggs that was filling her refrigerator. And look at this big load of eggs right here. Okay, but she decided to take them to school and she's giving them to Mrs. Alberico. She's taking them to her classroom and Mrs. Alberico is so happy. She's getting some fresh eggs. Later that day, Mrs. Alberico called Mrs. Eggleston's classroom. Mrs. Eggleston! I can't believe it, but my eggs are missing. Did you pick them up from my room? What? No, I didn't. Where could they be? Mrs. Eggleston said. And here's Mrs. Eggleston on the phone. She probably was teaching a class. Well, my class and I are going to start looking. 
I don't want the eggs to spoil, Mrs. Alberico cried. Oh, don't worry about that. Fresh eggs can stay at room temperature for a week or so. No refrigeration needed, said Mrs. Eggleston. But store-bought eggs do need to be refrigerated. Mrs. Alberico's class started to search. They looked in their desks. They looked behind doors. There they are. They're starting. They look in their desks. Okay. They're looking behind doors. Where could those eggs have gone? They looked high and low. No luck. The eggs were missing from their classroom. We need to ask for help, Mrs. Alberico told her class. Let's ask everyone in the building to help us find those eggs. The whole school pitched in. And guys, look, here they're looking high. They're looking low. Where could those eggs have gone? Mrs. Reben thought for sure someone had put the eggs in the refrigerator in the teacher's room. She looked there first and was so surprised. No eggs. Mrs. McEwen thought for sure they were in the lockers. She was surprised. No eggs. And here's Mrs. Reben. She can't believe that no one had put them in the refrigerator. And here's Mrs. McEwen. See how she's thinking? I know they're probably in the locker, but no, they're not in there. Where could they be? Students went to the cafeteria to ask the lunch ladies if they had seen Mrs. Alberico's eggs. They were very friendly there, but no eggs. And here are the lunch ladies. Friendly to talk to, but they hadn't seen the eggs. Students looked around corners. See if you recognize any of your friends searching. They looked under things. So if you look here, guys, these guys are all looking around all the corners in the hallway. And these guys are all looking under things, even under pillows. <laughs> you might recognize your friend. They asked everyone they could think of. No eggs. Mrs. Eggleston said, this really is an extraordinary mystery. Where could those eggs be? Oh, the policeman doesn't know. One lady in the office doesn't know. The kids don't know. Mrs. Eggleston doesn't know where those eggs could be. the students wouldn't give up. They kept searching. They looked under things, in things. There they are. They're still looking. Look, under the tables, in the bookshelves, in the toy bin. Look, looking in here under the toys. 
where could those eggs have gone? They look behind things. Look at this. She's looking behind the door. He's looking behind posters. Some more in the drawers looking. They're even looking behind one of the shelves. Hmm. Do you think you know where those eggs went? This was driving the whole school crazy. What happened to those eggs? Hold on a minute. Let's just stop and think about this. Has anybody looked in the lost and found? Nicole, the security guard asked. Here's Nicole. She's thinking logically. Has anybody looked in the lost and found? Of course, said Mrs. Lloyd, the most obvious place, and nobody thought to look there. Thank you, Nicole. So here's the lost and found, guys. And where does Mrs. Lloyd find the eggs? In a bag, in the lost and found. Easiest place. Mrs. Lloyd quickly contacted Mrs. Alberico and her class to let them know the eggs were found. Then an announcement was made over the loudspeaker to share the good news. Everyone in the school cheered, yeah! And were excited to find out that the eggs were safe and not one egg had been broken. The mystery of the missing eggs was over. But the real mystery was, how did the eggs end up in the lost and found? We may never know. As for Mrs. Eggleston, she said she would continue to share her eggs with the world. The end. And first of all, I want to show you how excited Mrs. Alvarico was when she got her eggs back. Thanks to Nicole and Mrs. Lloyd looking in the lost and found. And here are the eggs that she's going to share with the world. Now, I also wanted to show you a couple pictures I just put in here. Here's Mrs. Eggleston. She's going to share her eggs. But this is other pictures we took of places kids might have looked. Uh, behind the butterfly display. Or behind the books on the shelf. See that? <laughs> and here's where they were in a bag in lost and found and how they got there nobody knows and we may never know another mystery I thought if you ever look at this video again and go through how did Mrs. Eggleston change her clothes so often in this story we may never know that either all right kids it was fun. We're at the end of the school year. Um, you guys, you're going to have to have a great summer. And I, I'll try and come up with a story for you guys. If you're on my um, YouTube channel, you can watch too. It's either uh, Susan Roberts on YouTube or Mrs. Roberts. And I think the Mrs. Roberts is an easier one to find. But guys, 
If you want, keep an eye out for the summer and I will try and write you guys another story. Okay, I love these kids. Uh, they were so great helping me write this, not write the story, but helping take the pictures. If I asked them to look and, and search, they did it. I just, I adore all the kids in our school so much. And I know you're gonna have a great summer. Okay, guys, thanks again. And I will be reading to you soon. Bye-bye.